Hey guys, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem. In every corner, in every intersection in life, I'm always trying to remind myself of maybe there is something I can uh, share with my friends. Maybe there is something that I can tell you from this place that I'm at in my life and to see maybe who knows so many times I saw incredible results from this good intention of mine to help others and saw that so many people's life been changed by that so it's worth the try it's worth the the shot I am um, I realize with um, with life that many times the person finds it very very hard to stick and to connect himself to the earlier understandings that he had and to hold on to them and to continue in the same path that uh, that he started and Many times when we come in life to certain realizations, so we want to stick to them. We like, after you have a certain down or a certain challenge and suddenly you realize, oh, I need to strengthen myself in faith. I need to do more hit body do yot. I like whatever, I need to learn more. And then you see good results from those developments in, in your life. So you say to yourself, okay, from now on I know it but the dude that's my answer to have more faith more 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 um more confidence like whatever so like you do you 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 feel that that change that took place in your life is the one that uh, that you want to stick to to stick with and after a while you're not able to hold on to that thing anymore because life is taking you to different places and immediately you ask yourself okay so what should I do now in the next challenge in the next issue that is bothering you and then okay that light ball is uh, is shining and 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 calling you hey go back to do the Buddha do yod go back to believe in Hashem and then you try to do that and it, it doesn't always work it doesn't always help the same way that it helped you in the past and I give this advice to myself and I give this advice to many of my friends and followers and I'm reminding you right now and always that there are very very important um, basic understanding understandings about this lifetime one and that's so 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 important and we must like patch it into our minds to nail it into our brain that we need to serve the creator in the present time that now we need to attach ourselves to the creator and it means that we should ask ourselves in reality what should we do right now in our lives for that that moment will be a moment of attachment to the Creator. That that moment in the present time will be a time of closeness to the Creator. That we're fulfilling His will. That we are achieving what we're supposed to, that we do the maximum that we can. Now, why am I saying that? Because many times we are not connecting ourselves to the Creator in the present time and we're counting on experiences from the past to, to take decisions based on them. Means that we are following patterns that are coming over and over again and again in our lives in our minds and we're counting on them for an example if you've been fired many times from a certain job 
and you have a horrible experience with that or that you found yourself rejected in few relationships in the past and you don't know now your self-esteem your confidence is very shaky about that topic and now you have an opportunity to take a job or to go on a date or something like that that like deep inside you want to do that like you need to do that you want to build a house you want to take that job you want to succeed like you you want to but if you now gonna count on your experience from the past means on the patterns that are attacking you over and over and reminding you of your past failures you're never gonna dare to go to that job interview you're never gonna go and show your face to that date because you know, oh, I've been rejected in the past. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go through that humiliation again. But when you're doing it, you're disconnecting yourself from reality. You're disconnecting yourself from the attachment to the Creator in the present time. Because the Creator, that His name is Havaya Baruch Hu, means the blessed present. That's His name. That He is now with us in the present and He is the source of blessing. And the source of blessing is that we're going to connect ourselves to Him in the present time through truth, through all our good attributes. To be honest, to be truthful, to be aware to the reality, to the needs of our surroundings, to whatever we go through. To attach ourselves to this moment in time with truth with good attributes and by that you're going to enjoy the blessing of the Creator. If you're going to count on, on, on experiences from the past to take a decision, you might disqualify a meeting that can bring you to an amazing opportunity in the future. You can reject an opportunity because of your fears and because of those patterns that are keep on attacking you in your thoughts, only in your mind and you're going to reject something that might be beautiful for you but if you can ask yourself now is there a risk something horrible can happen have i seen or or sensed some negative um, feeling like do i have some signs that are reflecting some danger or a risk if yes so don't go so protect yourself but if you haven't and it's just your fears that are overwhelming you and blowing your mind with negative thoughts so then it's time to reject them and not to count on them and just to ask from the Creator to be by your side and to help you and to support you and that's where we're passing to the next advice that I wanted to share with you that good thoughts are positive thoughts are coming from the light of your soul and negative thoughts bad thoughts are coming from the evil inclinations side so when a person is trying to serve Hashem when certain negative thoughts are attacking him like sadness or anger or fear all the negative way of thinking it's lack of hope lack of happiness lack of self-esteem low self-esteem all that negativity when it's attacking you like waves in in the dark sea of your thoughts then it's time to remember that those thoughts are coming from your evil inclination from the Yetzirah and those are not thoughts to count on because the Yetzirah is the snake he's the evil he's the bad he's the darkness so you won't count on him to base your thoughts on his way of thinking that he just wants to fail us but when you have thoughts of hope and you have thoughts that are positive with the desire to grow and to bloom and to succeed on those you should count because those are coming from the side of your soul those are the advice that the Creator puts in your heart for you to count on Him that you will succeed so like we said two things two rules that are basically one that it's one advice to walk with it to connect yourself to the Creator in reality not based on your fears and and patterns from the past and to know that positive thoughts are the thoughts that the Creator plant in your mind and negative thoughts are thoughts that you need to ignore and when you have negative thoughts that are attacking you and they're overwhelming you and they're overpowering you and they're too much for you to handle that's the time to go and pray 
and to pray for the Creator's help. Please save me from the negative thoughts. Please give me the wisdom that I'll be able to succeed and to survive and not to give up to to not to give up on my dreams to this negative way of thinking. Life is good, life is meaningful and powerful and we all need to stick to each other and to hold on to each other and to stay good friends as much as we can and to support and to give a hand to all of our beloved ones and to share those videos and to post them all around the social media outlets to save lives of people and not because it's it's my organization or because it's my work just because it's a in reality it's a life-saving advice and it's saving my life and that's why I'm sharing it with you and then it saves your life and if you'll share it with your beloved ones so you're going to save the lives of all your beloved ones and wonders and miracles will take place in all of our lives may Hashem the creator of the universe bless us all that all our prayers and all our requests will be answered in no time and that we'll experience prosperity and happiness health and holy wealth and that we will not lack a thing ever Amen Ken Yehiratson. Thank you so much. If I may ask you please to pray for my children. Or Avraham ben Enav, Shlomo Ephraim ben Enav, Yosef ben Enav, Nachman ben Enav, Israel Nathan ben Enav, and my wife Enav bat Chava, and myself, Dror Moshe ben Emanuela. If you can pray for us, I'll appreciate it. And may the Creator answer to all your prayers for my family and those ones that will pray for us for sure will be answered and all the salvations that you need will take place in your lives in no time amen can you hear that some thank you because if you look for evidence from the outside you're not gonna make it the world will not gonna supply to you the inner answers that you need to get from inside only if you're gonna follow your heart with all of your heart if you're gonna be ready to serve Hashem Midbarach b'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha and to go and to achieve the impossible and to go and to overpower the judgments of this world and to bring light to the world 